how can you impact change when you're not in a leadership position? Anna, that's a very interesting question. Tim, you want to tackle that one? Sure. Let's go back to the definition of leadership. So the best the best synonym for the word leadership in the English language is the word influence. And so the first thing that I would do is back you up and say, you are a leader. You may not be a manager formally. You may not have title, position, and authority, but that's okay. You have the ability to influence. And that is the most important asset that you need in order to be a, a leader. So regardless of where you are, you've got to start. Now, the best way to influence is, first of all, to become competent. So influence is based on two things, competency and then character. So character and competence, those two. You've got to work on those to develop credibility in, in, in whatever you're doing, whatever your role is. People have to take you seriously. You have to be believable. You have to be credible. So you got to go to work on that to build your platform of credibility. And then regardless of what, what your position is, you, you'll be able to scale your influence and your impact. Even if you still are in a, even if you're in a technical role or uh, you're an individual contributor of, of, of one kind or another, it doesn't matter. So we work with, and I interact with um, incredibly powerful leaders all of the time that don't have high managerial positions, but they're taken very, very seriously in their organizations. So I would ask you to think about that. Go back to the definition of leadership. It's all about influence. 